This is KRK Chief Meteorologist Todd Yacob, Ukraine Automotive Team Update. We are watching the potential for severe weather Thursday afternoon in that medium shaded area. That's a level three risk. It includes Mina, Fort Smith, Heber Springs, Conway, Morrillton, Russellville, Mountain Home, and Fayetteville. So just because you're in that, uh, we have that medium risk for severe weather, don't discount the severe threat even into central Arkansas. It should weaken the further east it goes, but that severe threat extends to much of the Channel 4 viewing area. What are those threats for severe weather? We think medium threat for severe winds, 58 miles per hour or greater. Hail, one inch in diameter, meter, uh, medium. And I think that the threat for even larger hail exists across western northern Arkansas. The tornado potential, it's there. It's low. But I think western and northern Arkansas will have that threat for a tornado or two, isolated and brief. That's what we have to watch carefully. And I do think that there will be a tornado watch issued for portions of the uh, viewing area. Flash flooding threat, medium. Let's take you through the potential max size hail. This is if you get a thunderstorm and you're looking at one to two inches potential if a thunderstorm develops in that environment, especially across western and northern Arkansas Thursday. Notice by nine o'clock that really comes down. That's because the storms will most likely weaken the hail potential and the severe potential will start to decrease as we go towards sunset and beyond and it turns into a heavy rainmaker and that severe threat goes away. Forecast track, timing this out, showers in the morning, a 20% chance, but look at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Watch this area of the state with thunderstorms developing across eastern Oklahoma and into western Arkansas. These models are never perfect, but it gives you a good general idea. Look at what happens by 7 o'clock. I think what you're looking at here is a threat for severe winds along the leading edge of this early in the evening, late afternoon, early evening, from 4 to 7 in central Arkansas. And once that line passes you by, the severe threat should go down and the heavy rain threat goes up with isolated instances of flash flooding. By 11 o'clock, I think those severe thunderstorms and that threat goes towards the east. And while we can't discount a severe thunderstorm here, uh, mostly heavy rain, thunder, and lightning, kind of noisy. By 3 a.m., just plain old rain. By early Friday morning, those rain chances will begin to decrease. Uh, and there's the excessive rainfall. There's a low risk for it, so isolated instances of flash flooding. We're going to keep an eye on the situation for you. We are here for you. Download that Arkansas Storm Team app, set up those warning notifications, and we'll be updating the Arkansas Storm Team app throughout the day with videos to give you the newest information.